So what is it that is distinctive about Europe? And how can Europe maintain um, its position as historically maybe the most driving force in intellectual terms, the most driving force perhaps in terms of invention, inventiveness? As um, the higher education sector evolves so quickly and on an international scale, you have such competition. How can you ensure that you will maintain in Europe higher education quality and cutting edge research with all the turmoil that the European Union is going through right now? And I think we can all agree that, uh, okay, Brexit is maybe the tip of the iceberg, but I think there are more profound um, uh, challenges. There are really important uh, developments to come, especially regarding the innovation transfer. All the results that we obtain from the laboratories in research, uh, but also the new knowledge that is created, needs to be transferred to society. We are in times, in, in periods of the, uh, in the European history, where it is absolutely important that all the knowledge that is created at universities, because this is where knowledge is created, what we mean about knowledge is the new education, but this is also the research and innovation, but we should not forget the, the force aspect of what is called now the knowledge square, the service to society. Acknowledging that European identity is not only about the European Union. Uh, the European Union is a, is a fantastic project that emerged after Europe was confronted with so much conflict, and I think it has delivered beyond expectation. We had three generations of peace in Europe. What is it that's distinctive about Europe in the global sphere of activity, whether it's educational or it's economic, or indeed it's political or geopolitical. Some of that has to do with democratic forces. Some of that has to do with the way in which we have a history and a culture of vigorous debate about ideas. Some of it has to do with the Enlightenment project. That's still there. That's more relevant than ever. And I think that's, that's some of the vigor that you, you do get in, in Europe and, and coming through the European Commission and some key European presidents. I respond at once to this. I find this intellectually and morally and socially and aesthetically exciting. I think it's politically and economically relevant. I want my university to play a full part in that future.